164. The contract. Hearing Summer's words, Peter felt extremely happy. He really wanted to see her immediately. However, as soon as he got up, he smiled and sat back down. He waved at Lewis, who was about to leave after sending some documents. Peter wanted him to wait. He picked up a pen and quickly wrote a line of words on a blank piece of paper. All right, I'll be waiting for you to buy me dinner. Lewis was slightly surprised when Peter asked him to take it to summer. Peter started to think he needed to make a good plan. After hanging up the phone, Summer felt proud of herself. It was pretty impressive that Peter Dawson was now her customer. In less than half an hour, Lewis called her. He had already arrived downstairs and asked her to come down to discuss the operation. Summer had to admire Peter. She hadn't always liked his personality, but she had to admit that he was very efficient. She was surprised that Peter was able to arrange all this in such a short amount of time. Did that mean that he truly cared about her? Summer smiled in the direction of Jane's office. She slowly raised her right hand and made a shooting gesture. Then, she smoothly lowered her finger. It was as if her finger was still emitting the heat of a bullet. She knew that Jane was looking at her. When Summer walked out of the office, Jane collapsed. She grabbed the folder next to her and viciously threw it in the direction of Summer's office. The folder hit the glass wall and fell to the floor. Jane's colleagues looked shocked and just stared at her. They didn't understand why she was so angry. Ever since Summer had started working at a start, their entire work environment had become abnormal. However, no one could do anything about it. Summer was about to make designer Lockhart act crazy, and the outcome was hard to predict. No one really knew what was going on. So, they all chose to remain silent. Summer didn't care about the atmosphere in the office. She decided not to say anything and just took the elevator downstairs. She saw Lewis waiting for her in the lobby of the first floor, and she happily greeted him. Although Lewis had seen her a few times, they hadn't really talked. So when he saw Summer this time, he was feeling a bit excited. For so many years, he had always just stood by Peter. The two of them went to an old coffee house and sat down face to face. Summer, this is the contract that Chairman Dawson has drawn up. Lewis smiled as he placed the documents on the table and then pushed them towards Summer. Summer looked at Lewis's smiling face and slightly curled her lips. This man was much calmer than before. No wonder Peter liked him. All right, let me take a look. Lewis nodded with a smile. He silently poured some coffee for Summer and sat opposite her. He wanted to give her time to read the documents properly. Summer raised her eyebrows. This contract was very simple. She just had to design ten sets of clothing for each of the four series. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. She knew she would be able to do it. But Peter was a well-known businessman. Wasn't he afraid that she would let him down? Did he trust her too much? All of a sudden, she felt confused in her heart. As she continued to read, she noticed that her rate was left blank. But Peter had already put a stamp on it. Did this mean she could charge as much as she wanted? The more she looked at the contract, the more skeptical she felt. Where did his trust come from? Lewis saw that Summer had already seen the last page. He took out a pen from his front pocket and handed it over to her. Chairman Dawson said that if you feel that there are no problems in the contract, you can sign it now. The date and commission will be decided by you. Lewis had already filled in what Peter needed and also signed it. 
Now, as long as the contract was signed by Summer, it would officially take effect. However, Summer didn't rush into signing the contract, but instead looked at Lewis deep into his eyes. Peter doesn't let anyone tell him what they want. Tell me, what's the catch? Does he really trust me? Maybe he shouldn't. Lewis was surprised. He wasn't sure what he could say to her. Summer, you're not just anyone to him. He had emphasized the word anyone. What he meant was very obvious. Summer pursed her lips, not knowing what to do. The light in Lewis's eyes gradually faded away. He was no longer the smart and confident assistant. Summer, five years ago? Do you know why Chairman Dawson was gone for such a long time and didn't contact you? Did he tell you what happened? Summer was stunned as she looked at Lewis. That matter was already in the past. It was such a long time ago, and she didn't think about it anymore. Five years ago, they were such a sweet couple. When Peter went overseas, he ran into some difficulties and lost contact with everyone. During that time, she had discovered that she was pregnant, but her husband had disappeared. However, when her husband came back, she saw him holding hands with another woman, happily chatting with her. That's why she didn't trust him, and Peter didn't trust her. She had tried her best to love him, but he had betrayed her. It felt like those times were not even real. It was as if those events had happened to someone else, and had nothing to do with her. I don't remember. What happened? Summer really wanted to say, It's none of my business. But she didn't. <laughs>